Inspired by what they learned at the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C., we saw representations of people in power, people that look like us, which was really empowering. And frustrated that they weren't taught their own history at their school. Before the black learning experience in school was just slavery, segregation, and then a few other sprinkles of Dr. Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. But besides that, we weren't learning about, you know, the middle passage, um, you know, just everything that black people have contributed to America. These four women. These trailblazers have not stopped here. Took it upon themselves to make the change they wanted to see. Black history matters, Latino history matters, Asian history matters, indigenous history matters. After months of work, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. early college students announced a new Board of Education resolution titled the No Justice, No Peace Resolution. They received support from teachers, their principal, board members, and the district superintendent, Susana Cordova. As a graduate of the Denver Public Schools, I never saw myself in anything that I read. Um, and I became a teacher because I wanted to make sure that we can change that. The resolution will add old and new contributions of black, indigenous, and Latino communities to K through 12 curriculum throughout Denver Public Schools. I'm more than just an angry black girl. She's a part of the four who didn't give up until they saw themselves represented in their school books. We don't want our little brothers and sisters to have to live in this reality that we're living right now to wake up, go outside, and not know if you're going to come back home. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez. We want yeah, it literally gives me chills. Students will start seeing a gradual phase in of this new curriculum covering minority history over the next two years. This is going to cover history from Latino, Black, Asian, and Indigenous communities. There are so many people in our community provoking important change to make sure our communities are more inclusive, more diverse. You can read more about some of those at 9news.com slash voices of change. And we want to hear from you, too. If you know somebody who you believe truly is a voice of change in Colorado, please let us know about it. Text us at 303-871-1491 and tell us all about them.